<clears throat> Alrighty, we're gonna do our math. Um, I wanted to show you something from yesterday's math though about um, him going to the coffee shop and buying coffee and bagel and cream cheese. I realized I should have added something over here because I didn't even show a computation. I was a little sleepy when I did this, I guess. So <clears throat> I should have put one six plus one six equals two six because that's what we're representing in our model drawing and in the question. I even took it a step further, which I would love for you guys to do, to do a number bond. We know that six six is equal to one whole. Ah, there we go. Um, and so that represents the whole, the entirety of his money. And then we decompose it. So he spent two six of his money. He did not spend four six, just like I counted out yesterday. Okay. So for today, we are on unit six, day nine. I will read, chunk, and then same thing. You guys pause, do your work, and then um, replay the video and see if you got the same answer as me. All right. Juliana's friendship bracelet has eight beads chunk. When it broke, the beads fell off. She could only find one of the beads. I'm going to reread that. She could only find one of the beads. To fix her bracelet, what fraction of the beads does she need to buy? Okay, so I'm going to underline and my sentence form. Hmm. What fraction of the beads does she need to buy? Okay, this is where I want you to pause and do your sentence form model drawing computation and then play it again in a minute when you guys are um, have it all filled in and see if you get the same answer as me, okay? Let's go ahead and pause. All right, you're coming back. So our question is, what fraction of the beads does she need to buy? So my sentence form should be, she needs... Let's see, I'm going to say to buy mm, of the beads. And I'm saying um, of the beads because we're going to put our fraction here, right? Okay, so model drawing. I'm going to do a rectangle like usual so I can add my nice labels. Maybe you did a circle or maybe you even drew out the bracelet and the beads. That's perfectly fine too. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so um, how many beads does she have in total? She had eight beads. Remember whenever I do an even number, I partition half first, so then I can make my units as equal as possible. Okay, so here's eight units, and this represents the amount of beads she has, right? So then the beads, um, the bracelet broke, and the beads fell off. She could only find one of the beads. Okay, so she found, I'll put an F for found, one of the beads. What fraction would go here? What fraction does this represent? Hmm. Well, we are representing one unit out of how many total? Eight. So she found one eighth of the beads. Okay, so what fraction does she need to buy? Well, these are all the ones she lost that she needs to buy. So I'm going to represent that by saying buy, or you could have put like lost because it is representing the same thing, right? Okay, so what fraction is this? Well, if we have one eighth being shown that she found, let's count and see how many eighths she needs to buy. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. I'm going to go ahead and even shade that in to really have a good visual representation of this. Quick little shade. Okay. Now, we haven't really talked about subtracting fractions, but that's what we just did. We said our total 8 eighths minus the 1 eighth that she could find leaves seven eighths that she needs to go by. Look at what we did here. Eight minus one equals seven. And a really good way to show that is in a number bond too. That's exactly what we do when we decompose fractions <clears throat> when we're using when, um, with number bonds, which is exactly what we were working on when um, last Thursday when we, we had to leave. So we had eight, she has eight eighths, eight out of eight of her beads. She 
found one eighth of them when it broke. She found one out of eight. So she needs to, to she needed to buy seven more out of the eight. Okay, seven plus one equals eight. All right, let me fill in. She needs to buy seven eighths of the beads, okay? And maybe I'll just do a quick little sketch. Let's see, here's her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. Here's the one she found at home. Here's the rest that she needs to buy. So we're even showing here one eighth, or one out of eight, and then seven out of eight that she needs to go buy right and I'll write this in um, unit form seven eighths okay hope you did good I'll see you guys tomorrow